to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. The mechanic. No, 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 not me, not me. That's not me. It's been a not, rough not, week. Not, not me. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. So, <coughs> all right. <coughs> Sorry. All right. In the chapel, John ten eleven. I am a good shepherd, and a good shepherd lies down his life for his sheep. Our life right now is centered around sheep. Um, that Bible verse, RJ actually has a photo about the Good Shepherd. Um, and it's kind of how we live our, our lives. Um, everything centered around the sheep, we would do anything for these sheep. Um, in the Bible verse, it's talking about Jesus being the shepherd and leading his flock and that he laid down his life for his flock, meaning us. So, with Easter coming, the resurrection story, um, it's one of our favorite times of the year. We have the lambs, and more so much than Christmas, so. Yeah. All right, moving on. In the barn stalls, what do you got for us this week, son? Um, let's see here. We have an escaped horse yesterday. Um, let's see here. Uh, Big Mama had a baby. Um, let's see anybody else? Baby girl had a baby. I don't know when. I don't remember. The first wave of lambing is almost over, Yeah, right? we just got Gertie left. We just got Gertie left, and then we should get, like, a 17-day break. Yeah. But it depends on if she runs over and if any of them start prematurely. <laughs> yeah. But those two are it. Okay. Now, we do have kid about news about kid, right? Yep. This morning the was the first day. He's, he's actually on the loose. This morning was the first day he wasn't in his pen when I got up, and I kind of got on to him. For it. Didn't you do this last time? Down, down. Ah, there we go. Ah, thank you. Okay. Anyway, so this morning was the first morning he wasn't in the pen, but he's been around here. He knows where his thing is. He uh, knows that that pen is safe. Right? Yep. So, um, and he has been taken off and working with Jethro. Um, so, Hank spent the night in last night, didn't she? Yep. That's a good thing. She's our old dog. Huh? Do we have like a pinky or something? You're going to have to go find one, dude. Okay. He's going to find a tissue. Actually, we use handkerchiefs. So, I know old fashioned, but I can wash them and they don't. It's a whole other podcast about why I don't like toilet paper and trash bags. So, anyway. All right. So, we'll move on. Um, we haven't had anything too much going on. The One of the little calves in the barn has a little bit of a cough. Um, it's because it's, the weather's going back and forth. Oh, that's a lovely sound for cow. That is showing. It's a cow one. It's a cow print. We have fans. Um. He's full today. I'm always full. Yeah, we just won't say what you're full of. Um, vinegar mostly. And cookies. Yeah, that's his snack today. I'm just on my coffee. <laughs> All right, so, um, I already moved on from the barn stalls. I said there probably there isn't anything really, is there? Nope. Okay. So, next step is mending fences. Ooh. You. Okay, so. <coughs> I didn't mend it. Well, I did. I started moving the um, fence, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we should have done a blog, but we just didn't have enough time with everything going on because RJ left to go to a rodeo. The truck acted up he had to come home the truck acted up on me when I ran to town or the car acted up on me when I ran to town to get stuff and I decided it was the day since we were waiting on the mechanic to come I thought I'd take out this pathway that's actually blocking water flow and redo that fence well the minute we started doing that then we had a lady show up to do pictures here and we got a lot of projects started. We didn't get anything finished until this morning. 
did we? Uh-uh. So, to say that... And it wasn't through lack of trying. No. I mean, we worked hard yesterday. My rump is sore. My back and my legs, but... All right, so let's start with the truck. What was wrong with it? Had a water leak. Okay, so he left here. It was fine. Gets to 10 miles down the road to yep. gas station, put gas in it, and the water well is empty. So they put water in it and drive back home. Right? Yep. Uh, we didn't know what was wrong with it, so we called a mechanic. We couldn't find any leak in anywhere um, other than it was up on the fan belt and just throwing it. So, called the mechanic. He couldn't get here till the afternoon. So, I get this bright idea that we'd be productive. I mean, we're stuck at home, right? So, I've been wanting, now that we've taken the fence out, we have a walkway out to nowhere, which I don't mind. It's a path out to nowhere. But we had put big uh, pieces of concrete to get across there when it was um, raining. What are you doing? Dancing to music in your head. Anyway, come on, talk to him about these concrete things. I put them out there when RJ was little because it got so deep it'd get up into your boots, huh? Yeah. So, <clears throat> we put a pathway across there just of, and it was my brother-in-law's old porch. He had these big chunks of concrete. Mm -hmm. And then I had put stepping stones in between, and we just kind of had built it up. Well, now with the new barn there and the fence gone, you don't have to go across there. And it just creates <coughs> a barrier to slow the water down. So if I'm going to do it, we're going to move all of it, and I want to bring in some dirt and grade it. Which would be great, won't it, son? Yep. So I thought RJ and I can start moving those rocks, and I've got some nice um, pavers that we had put in there that turned out not to be enough. Um, but I want to take those down to the garden. So we start working on that, and... We had wanted to move the fence out of that L position and have just one piece with the gate. So Dad starts working on it, right? Yep. Then what happened? Then everybody showed up. We got the fence down, laid over. I got part of the rocks moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, those two projects went undone. So, RJ starts working on the truck, right? What time last night did you get to a stopping point so you could let it sit till this morning? 10.30. And, let me point out, yesterday was the spring ahead day, so that technically was 11.30. It wasn't after 1 yet, so it was not 11.30, right? I don't care. It was after. I would have been asleep in bed. <coughs> Anyway, so this morning you did what? Got up, filled her up, and started it. Yep. Uh, the big thing was is that you had to wait an hour to let the... You had a gasket to put on it and then a sealant to put on it. And the sealant has to dry an hour before you tighten the bolts all the way down, right? Yep. So we had to literally put it on, put it all together, wait screw it down and then go to bed so um, and then it just got so late we just weren't done so after we do this podcast rj wants to go to a rope and so he's going to help me put that fence up moving the rocks isn't such a big deal we do have to get that fence up because murphy can't even be turned loose right now can he so yeah it's been an interesting breakdown kind of week Right, so we had a lot in many fences. What's up next? In the yarn farm? Okay, so how'd your giveaway go? Yarn farm. Of course, he's making me do all the talking while he eats cookies. Okay, so we only had one entry. Um, we had a lot of people say, yeah, we're going to enter, yeah, we're going to enter, um, but didn't enter. But we had one entry. There has been some concern expressed about her age. Um, her mom, <laughs> just yeah. to, um, her experience level, her experience level, 
But here's the thing, guys, is when we say we're giving them also a free consultation, I don't just mean a free consultation as in, I mean we have a 4-H FFA book. <coughs> we are encouraging her, and we've actually already talked to her extension agent um, so that she can join 4-H, and there is kids down there that show sheep. He said the numbers were up. There's more kids to help her. Um, the other thing is, is she'll spend the day here learning everything from hoof trimming, how to give shots. Um, the babies will already be vaccinated, right? They won't need that stuff for a year. Um, we only work our sheep. She's getting show sheep. And we only work those once a year. So, I mean, it's not like their hooves grow great or, you know, overly anything. Um, so while she'll learn that stuff, she'll also have a year to get used to her animals and she will, um, by that time be comfortable enough to just do it. Uh, there were some other things that I had to look into that I was concerned about. Um, for one thing, I needed to know whether to send weathers or use. Um, if they do a spring livestock show that is considered a kill show, I did not want to send one. I didn't want to send weathers. Use can always be shown as um, breeding stock up until a certain age, so yeah. Um, but a weather, if they're showed for meat, some will make them have to get rid of them and not necessarily in a good way. You know, if they're shown for me, you understand that they're probably, and we don't want them to be eaten, so. <coughs> right? Right. So we cleared all of that um, to make sure what we're sending her will stay with her. Uh, I think her experience level will grow. I think she is, what we're looking at is we think she's true at heart. I think she will be out there playing with those lambs all the time, don't you? Yeah. And if she is hands-on, she'll recognize when something's not right or off. And I think her mom is just super excited. And the word overbearing was used, but I think she's just really supportive. She's excited for Katie. Katie's never done anything like this. Katie is young. And I think she's 100% supportive. Um, so when they come to see us and pick up the lambs... Uh, if all else fails, I really think that the mom will take care of them. <laughs> if Katie fails in her endeavor, I think mom would be there to pick it up, you know. But they'll also have our um, phone numbers. They will have the half-day consultation where we spend, like, hours going over stuff with them. So, I really think it'll be okay. Um, it, from what I've seen of the of comment and stuff, there's a, a support group. Um, from the emails we've received, she's got a, an entire, more than her mom, but she's got a, her mom has a network of friends that really are supportive of Katie, so, um, I think she'll do okay. And as shy as Katie is, who knows, those sheep, and showing those sheep might actually help her come out of it. Um, it did for RJ. He was real quiet and stuff till he get up to the fairgrounds, and then he was like, wild child. Um, and now he kind of stuck that way. I don't know. <laughs> He's tired today. I know. Uh, you're not even being funny. You're leaving the jokes to me, and that's sad. Yeah, your jokes aren't even good. <laughs> yes, they are. So, that was a funny joke. <sighs> well, then do your job, dude. All right, so <coughs> we think that will go good. We do have um, Quick Snaps in place, which is a new program we started this year where you can come out, there's lambs in the barn, you pay a small fee, you come out, and it's kind of like a pretty pre-made Easter photo, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> snap a few photos and you're on your way. Um, snap, snap, snap. That's right. Uh, what else? Anything else going on? We've got Fiber Camp all set. We've got Fireflies. All the stuff is on our calendar on our webpage. Um, when's the spring of the farm? Is that the seventh. So yeah, if we did, it's the first Saturday of the month. 
Why would we do it on April Fool's Day? Because that's Easter. Mm. We should have done April Fool's Day. It's Easter. Should have done April Fool's Day. I'd love to walk around and somebody be like, I want a pony ride. Okay, here we go. Put it right there. April Fool's, we're not doing that today. (laughs) And they take you on a ride. We awesome. are open on Easter. That's actually our, <clears throat> I, I guess you call it a soft opening. You know, we open before we actually do our hey, big hey, grand opening. We should event. say we're going to give away like a million dollars. And then when yeah, all these people show false up. advertisement. Dude. Like, April Fool's. <laughs> that's for, okay, I, turn, I hit an on button. I don't know what the deal is with him. April Fool's Day. That's Those cookies set in, huh? The sugar. <laughs> okay, so all of those are on there, and we actually have a f- flyer on our Facebook page with dates to remember, too, correct? Oh, because yeah. yeah. We have every- one around here somewhere, too. I know. I think I took them out to fly, the barn. Fly, 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 Not fly, flyers. Like a piece flyers of paper. Flyers away. No, you. no, no. Okay, moving on. Butterfly, butterfly. That was Yarn Charm. What's going on in the garden? Nothing. In the fields, I should say. Nothing. I haven't gotten down there. It, it's been a rough week. We're tired. Um, I just wish. You could be You're all skinned up. <laughs> um, you got injured yesterday. Playing mechanic. Uh-huh. But I'm not very good at it, I don't see. Actually, you did good. If you fixed it, you did good. Let you guys um, know shortly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we go out there and there's a big puddle underneath and no fluid left in it. Okay, so in the fields, right? What else we got? In the farmhouse. We got two dogs, two people. Um, no, what happened? A oh, cat. Friday, what did we do? Went to town. Oh, yeah. For the, you went to town for your Tinker Garden. Yep. Um, I am trying to get Tinker Garden certified. I've put in my video. And if that happens, then I will start doing two um, things a week off the farm and then we will slowly merge it to one day a week on the farm, correct? We'll see what is more receptive, right? Yep. So, uh, but it's awesome. You can check them out on the web and I'm I'm trying to be certified as a leader. So, uh, Thursday, what'd you do? Uh, the ones are open Thursday night. How'd you do? I won the first round. And? The uh, second round? Well, it was a little long. And I broke out in a short round. So, but you brought home the paycheck. Yep. So, you got your groove back, huh? I hope so. There you go. And if the truck cooperates today, you might go to another one, right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else going on around here? Other than it's just been a rough week. I'm tired. Um, new dog on the loose. Which I mean, he's not on the loose. He does. He's not crazy. He's on the loose. He's I on know. The loose. But every time Somebody I hear him, hold me. every time I hear him barking and carrying on, I think oh, is something lambing. Okay, come on. Is something lambing? Oh, oh in the barn stalls, you forgot about amethyst. We have to back up. <sighs> Three one. Okay, I made a, a mistake this week. Was that Thursday? Yeah. Got in trouble. What did I do? Then I almost forgot. I, I did forget you. Because <laughs> the truck had so much trouble, and yesterday was so much, and nothing got done, and <coughs> oh. All right. I almost got myself out of trouble, but. Left. For like three hours. What did you leave to go do? Went to go to Wally World and get feed. Tiddling along. Got done at Walmart. I'm happy camp. Going to get feed. And mom calls. Ring, ring, ring. How mad are you going to be at me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You going to tell me what you did? You want me to tell me? <laughs> well, after RJ left... I got this brilliant idea. Hershey and her babies. Brilliant idea was not so brilliant. <laughs> Hershey and her babies and Reba have not been out in the sun. And sunlight, as we all know, helps them um, the same way it helps us. It helps with depression. It 
it balances our chemicals. Reba's on different medicines now, so we want her to balance. Um, no exercise, they can't really run around. Um, I need those babies to start building muscle. We're gonna have to get out there and get them a bigger pen in the barn or something so that they can run. They're still a little hunkered over, but I think that's muscle control. So I get this brilliant idea. And I have to admit, I had a headache, so maybe I didn't think it through very well. But we, it's nothing we haven't done a hundred times over. So I get this brilliant idea that I'm going to turn them loose into this smaller pen up here. There's only three sheep in there. There's Snow, who we don't want bread. And she is only in there for, like, till Monday when night is pulled from the pasture. Tomorrow. Yeah. And then baby girl is in there and she has her baby and she's in there because she's the one that was dog attacked um, and her neck the way she holds it she has to be able to see her baby in her left and if she sees big mama's baby on the pasture on her left she thinks that's her baby so she gets confused but it's because of and I think it's some neck tendon damage because she can't raise her head up and put it in the stand we have to use a miniature one for her um, but I guess if my neck was dog attacked, I probably would hold it funny too. So there's her and then there's Gertie, who's the last one we're watching. Mm -hmm. And it just makes it so easy to come out, check her and go back to bed. So there's only those three in there. And I got the bright, brilliant idea that I would turn Hershey, her two babies, because she did amazing last year. Remember? Yep. And then... Reba out into this pen and I thought that'll get them moving and running and I took some cute video after I turned them loose and then I came in here and I had been doing a, a boot camp making sure that your blog is all in order it goes with those workshops I did for agritourism and all that so I was working on it and no more than like 15 minutes I hear this panic lamb scream and if you have goats or sheep you know this scream instinctively. You know something's wrong. It's not just, where's my mom? It's a total panic scream. Um, are you done, booger man? Um, anyway, it's a total panic scream. And so I hear that, and I'm sitting here, and I go out the door, and the baby was through the wire fence which happens all the time because some of our babies we do miniatures and they're little and they can slide through and she was a twin so she is um <laughs> in the um what do you call it on the wrong side of the fence because she could squeeze through and i thought that's what had happened is she'd squeeze through and couldn't get back to her mom and uh <laughs> so i go out there and I just scoop her up and put her on the other side of the fence. Well, she kind of walks, but her walk looked funny. And her, she wasn't answering her at that point. And I thought, why is she not answering her? <coughs> so, then I notice when her, she goes to walk off, the baby goes to run to keep up with her. And she's got her back leg up and she's hobbling. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I went out there and I checked it. It didn't seem broke. I rubbed on it. She went back to work and I'm walking on it. I thought, oh, she's fine. She twisted it, getting through it. Well, the more I watched, apparently she tried to make friends with baby girl's baby. And baby girl and Snow have taken to headbutting her really hard and pushing her away. And just, and her, she's not defending her is the problem. Hershey is defending the one she's letting suck. And Hershey doesn't have enough milk for both. So we were just supplementing her with the bottle. But <clears throat> when she's on open pasture, Hershey is not taking her. But when they're in the barn and together, they're fine. Yep. So now because I screwed up and put them outside and didn't stay there and watch long enough. or And like I said, last year she did amazing with twins. But this year, I think she's not taking it because of the whole lack of milk thing, which is beyond her control. Correct? Yep. So, anyway, he comes home, and I had her in. Well, and when I had her, 
I'd take her outside a little bit and let her nibble and walk around because the concrete floor wasn't letting that leg slide and every time she'd try to pee it go way out to the side and I didn't want it to get hurt so I was frequently taking her out well I had to put a little collar on her because she tried to take off and I'm not a small person and my rear end drags a little when I try to sprint after a baby lamb who's found freedom first day of freedom and then she'd hop on her leg and she'd try and run and it was kind of comical so I put a little collar on her so RJ comes home and he I called him and I said how mad are you gonna be at me because I can't put her out there I can't catch Hershey I can't catch the other healthy baby mm -hmm. What am I going to do? And he says, just keep her with you. He said, I'll look at it when I get home. So he comes home to find me with my little lamb, little pink collar on it. Sitting watching TV. <laughs> well, I couldn't just go and do stuff. I couldn't get work on the computer. She'd get hot in my arms. So, But I couldn't have her down here on the concrete floor because she couldn't walk very well with that leg kept sliding sideways and it almost looked like a chicken with splayed leg but I didn't want that to become permanent so I had her up there and she was kind of just standing on my lap and yeah collar and everything she still has her collar on yes um so how'd that turn out is she still in the house with us no we put her back with Hershey and put him back in the barn. He so. caught Hershey and the other baby and put him in the barn. And then introduced her. And Hershey doesn't beat on her. She tolerates her. She lets her suck. But oh, only oh. in a small enclosure. And that's not going to get them exercise, is it? No. So, we're still figuring out what we want to do. Yep. And Reba, we figured out pretty much, she's starting to look better, correct? Yeah. Um, and... Now we just have to get the weight on her correct. Doc says that the, um, medicines seem to have helped her a lot. So, um, yep. she'll have to do that one annually, right? Or does she get a booster? I think she gets a booster. I think she gets a booster. Anyway, the one is selenium, selenium and E or something. Uh, solarium? I can't remember. Oh, it's a tube. It's just a tube we tube. Um, but that'll help her. And she's looking good. I mean, she's still thin, don't get me wrong. But she's got energy. She's not laying down all the time. She's actually oh. walking around. Now we just need to build some muscle mass with mm. her. Um, so I was thinking we'd put her back out here. But then her, she gets upset for being in the barn by herself. I then we are all right back to where we were the other day. So we need to figure something out. We're working on it. Yeah. As soon as Gertie goes, then we can see if her body is for the outside, right? Um, baby girl will stay up until she's comfortable. She has this panic mode she goes through for the first, what, month, month and a oh, half. Boy. And once that's done, then she can put be put back out on the pasture, and it'll just be Reba and Hershey and her babies up here. Correct. Yep. So, as soon as night's off the pasture, it's going to change. It's just a process. And anyway, somebody gets impatient every year and will not just sit and well, let them. Well, the babies need to build muscle. They need to be able to spring. We're just going to have to give them a double pin. That's all there is to it. Right? Yeah. We're going to do that today. I just know I'm going to kick that one side out and give her a big thing there. All right, anything else that we have forgotten? <coughs> it is so off. I am so sorry. But, like I said, if Gertie will give us her baby, then we get a break from lambing season, and then we start with the miniatures, Ooh. which are always the cutie little ones, right? Yep. So, all right, if all goes well with the truck, RJ's going roping this afternoon. Uh, we're going to get out there and finish that fence, right? Yeah. And I'll get to the stones in time. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we have to say bye-bye now. Bye-bye, folks.
Guys, we will see you in the next video and hope you have a, an amazing week and it's much better than ours. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>